Hello everybody! Hi! How is everyone doing? Welcome guys! Welcome! Welcome to this space honey! Welcome to this environment! Welcome to this channel! If you're new, welcome! My name is V and this is my first 2024 video and I am so excited! I am so excited! And in this video guys, I wanted to share one of the how I want I no let me say let me translate it quickly into my head wait guys I wanted to share with you how you are going to wake up in 2024 blessed in abundance yes honey I said it you are going to be waking up in 2024 blessed in abundance and I'm gonna break it down to you guys how we're gonna do this and I have a few story times of ways that I have been doing this I will be sharing with you guys ways that I have been doing this since a very young age I just wasn't aware that this is like um, manifestation law of attraction and all of these things and within these stories that i'm going to be sharing is the key like in these stories is the gems the golden nuggets and i'm gonna be sharing some personal stuff with you guys so let's start baby how are you going to wake up in 2024 blessed in abundance you are going to wake up thinking that the world is open for you and that all the possibility are endless and you have options and they're all for you and I know this sounds kind of crazy and like easy easier said but the first time that I really felt this was when I was a teenage during my teenage years I was going on with friends this was a phase in my life where I was partying baby and I was living my best life and during these phases you know I went to out with my friends they went to my home we got ready did our makeup all of the things and um, later on we would go to the to the place the club or whatever and as soon as we arrived there, I would have like butterflies, I would start feeling insecure, I would start feeling anxiety and I don't know, it was just a, such a weird thing that um, because of that I would tell my friends that they can go inside first, they can go in first and that I needed a moment for myself and I really needed a moment to like breathe in myself and i would breathe in myself and i would tell myself that i am the most beautiful woman in the room and i deserve everything that i desire just because i'm me and i would breathe that in and i don't know what would happen with me guys something would like take over me i would like lock that in and then i would walk in that club and i would I don't know I will walk in it's like as soon as the door open it's like the world is for me it's like the place the place is lit because I arrived like I felt like I am the party I, I don't know <laughs> like I really felt like the world was opening for me and I would walk in that club and I would have the best time of my life with my friends drinks everything for free i will be i will be taken to the vip be doing this meeting meeting people like it will be a full experience and um it was like really one of a, a lot of great times in my life like a lot of amazing party like that but i didn't know that it was all because of the feeling 
because I created this feeling within me and I created this feeling by each time that I was going out I was doing this whether it was at the place outside in the dark woods or um, at my home before my friends got to my place or when my friends were there and we were all like heading out i would be like oh I, I i forgot something girl i'll go in do my thing and then you know on the way to it on the road whether i was driving or my friends i was just like um thinking about this you know until i got there and then breathe in and honey i don't know what happened something take over me baby i will walk in that club bitch it's lit and because of that later on my friends wanted me to always walk in first and i was like okay we can walk in first but i decide when we go there because honey y'all want to go okay go but i'm gonna go at my own time you know because i need i needed that moment and little did i know because of those momentum each time i created a feeling and so each time it was easier to step into that energy because that feeling was already within me so I don't know at that time I wasn't aware of what it was but I just know it felt so good and I just loved it and I didn't let the result of the night have any effect on it because some nights didn't always end up the best but I still didn't care I would still like um, do it the next time I would go out and it mainly started because I was feeling insecure I was feeling anxious I was feeling like not and it wasn't like a feeling bad that I oh my god I don't want to do this it was like oh my god people are gonna see me um, like like I don't know what I was scared I don't even know what it was because I was just like so scared and I had to take that moment within myself and own myself and be like bitch they're waiting for you the hell <laughs> and th I did that during and I started doing that in every area of my life every area of my life and the next phase that I I remember that I didn't often and I just realized the, from the previous video that I manifested this this is this story I didn't even notice I manifested it until I told it in my native language and I'm like oh my god that's how it happened because I started working in Zara at the time and honestly it was really if you're coming from an island a store this big it was something really popular really huge because other island other people from other island would come to Ruba just to shop in the Zara store there so it was like a huge thing in the islands right and I started working there and I remember feeling so proud that I was working in such a huge company and honestly honestly the thing that it was for me is like i started walking in there and i was feeling like everyone <laughs> like i feel like everyone came to me and loaned my clothing and they would buy it so they could go out and try it and you know wear it whatever and I felt like Zara was my whole closet and I was just sharing my clothing with the people from the Caribbean and the people at Aruba and I literally walked in that store thinking that like I literally walked in that store feeling like everybody was just coming to shop at my closet and I share all my clothing with everybody and they pay me for it <laughs> I was so delusional and um then slowly i started thinking bigger you know and i was thinking like this is my company and i own this company and i have more in the islands and i started thinking of all the places i was traveling because of the companies of i own because of all of the clothing the events the things i will be doing like i started 
going big in my head and every time that I would spend eight hours at that place doing VM or when I was the commercial director or even as a sales even as a sales girl just working um, in the weekend 20 20 hour contract or whatever I was feeling like that and I was I was so excited to come to work and I was also so excited to leave <laughs> because it's like okay I had enough you know doing and, sh and, and you know sharing and whatever but each day that I was there and I had like a bad day or things were slow or there wasn't a lot to do I would be just in my head walking in that world and doing my job so I think that by doing that so frequently later on second year or third year with the company me and my colleagues at the time they paid for us to go to Santo Domingo to open a new store and it was the best experience of my life it was so amazing we traveled we met new people we ate new food it was everything was paid we were getting paid like honey it was abundance it was amazing it was the best time of my life and honestly um, even after that like just coming back with all this information all this knowledge all these stuff that I learned about fashion and these things and to even the excitement to share it with them like it was so amazing and I, I didn't know that I manifested that through walking in the store thinking that I had a bunch of store open all in the Caribbean and I would go to the store and open them up and do these things until I had the opportunity to li literally do that and I didn't even realize that maybe that was one of my manifestation maybe not but honestly I think it was because it wasn't even about the fantasy in my head it was about the feeling because I created so many fantasy like so many possibilities I was bored out of it and at certain point I even got used to some of them because <laughs> it was so easy just to start from there because that feeling was already there so I can go higher or further from that from that feeling and with that is how I wanted to share with you guys how you're going to open your 2024 in that abundance in realizing that in this moment in your life right now maybe the circumstances are not what you desire them to be yet but realize that that you manifested this that you created this and there is something in that moment for you to just be grateful for and um step onto like a lot of the times when i was feeling um low vibrational emotion or when i was there was another phase in my life that i didn't I'm not sure if I'm shared already, but um, I was living in a big house with no water, no electricity for like four to six months. And it was horrible. It was horrible. It's a thing that I actually never talked about with anyone or anyone, not even my closest friends know about this because you know it's not a phase in my life where I share or talk so much about but during those times you know what I would do I will be writing and I will be creating another fantasy I will be creating another circumstance I will be creating a better possibility or future in those moments and I would get so lost into doing that that I would forget about the situation and I would find something in that moment to be so grateful for and one of those things maybe like when I would go to my neighbors and she had like I don't know how they call it in English actually Morokoi I don't know how they say it but in fact I'm gonna put a picture right here and um, she had one of that and I would be so grateful that I could see them 
because they are so amazing like wow and I would be so grateful for them that I will forget that I was in that circumstance situation you know and from there I would like continue then in that fantasy and creating another possibility creating another reality and I didn't know at that time of course that that was manifestation I just know that that was the only thing that I can do in that moment to fit, make myself feel better because I wasn't happy with the whatever it is what was going on I wasn't happy in that moment um, I wasn't happy and um, I had to create other other possibility for myself other things to be happy for so because of doing that i now that i learned mu way much more of the power of manifestation of attraction the secret all of this i'm like oh my god that is what i've been doing all those times like it was so crazy because i didn't know i really didn't know i just knew that you know that was the only thing that was that was like my cope mechanism that was my cope mechanism literally <laughs> so um that is how i want you guys to wake up 2024 i want you to wake up 2024 feeling blessed feeling blessed for the circumstance the situation whatever it is that you're in right now because honestly you can create something better and now you have the whole rest of 2024 to create something better to create something different and you know that's why i love that quote of what rihanna say some days you gotta fake it till you make it because honestly that's what i did when i was going to the club i was faking it until i make it honey and zara i didn't even know that i made it like i was faking it all those like thinking about that I had a company and I was traveling and I was like honey and later on I started traveling with the company <laughs> the company paid everything and I didn't even realize it was happening and I was so grateful in that moment so living in that moment and thinking about oh my god the possibility are endless and it goes back to the same story of walking in the club and feeling like the world is open for me like i created that feeling that the world is open for me and i i i believed it so much that it literally happened you know so be, when you feel like the world is open for you you just feel blessed and you just feel grateful and that's exactly how i want you guys to feel for this 2024 just feel blessed and feel grateful and create other possibilities and don't get attached to the outcome like I would never get attached do you know how many times I went to the club and it was an awful night and I didn't blame myself for that situation or I didn't blame that it didn't turn out how I wanted because you know it turned out to be whatever it is it needed to be and um, you gotta when you're when you're in this state you gotta just know that um, you cannot get attached to it you cannot get attached to how the outcome may be because it's not your responsibility like that is the only thing that i would tell myself like i'm not responsible for like I, you can desire the outcome but you're not responsible for creating the outcome all by yourself it's of course some things are 100% your responsibilities and you have to take accountability for that but other things are sometimes fuera de tu alcance they're sometimes out of your reach if it's you cannot make something that is out of your reach your problem you cannot do that so make sure you don't do that so don't make something that's out of your reach your problem but do take 100 percent responsibility for creating a different result for wanting something better for just take that accountability of okay it didn't turn out how i wanted 
but this is, some, this is what I learned from it and that's how you gotta keep it moving so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please like subscribe and comment and let me know how these stories help you guys I'll be sharing some photos um, if I find some <laughs> and um so you guys could see these are not things that i talked about a lot i think this is my first time doing this video and talking about this i've been knowing this information forever ever since i learned about the power of manifestation the secret and all of this but it's like slowly i start remembering all of these specific moments and things and i'm like oh my god it was all in my face all this time i've been doing this all this time like what so i had to share it with you guys so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye